Did you know that the average self-published book sells fewer than 100 copies in its lifetime? Now, I've ghosted over 35 books in my career, including multiple international bestsellers that have sold tens of thousands of copies. Over and over again, my authors get brave five-star reviews while their competing titles get crickets. So what's the difference? My tip has to do with reporting versus portraying. Here's what I mean by this. In fiction, we have all seen in a novel where there's dialogue. One character says something to another, right? You are, as the novelist, portraying a conversation. This is the same thing that you want to do in nonfiction, whether you're writing a blog article or you're writing a 500-page tome for your industry to demonstrate your expertise for all time. Whenever you are recalling a conversation that you had with a client, a colleague, a friend, a family member, don't report what happened. I said this. He said this. That's reporting. It's not really a compelling read. It creates distance between the story you're telling and the reader. Instead of that, portray what happened. So you use the best practices of dialogue in fiction. So what you do is instead of this person said this to me, you have them blankety blankety blank, this person said. It's very simple, but just this one thing will give your story so much more power. You'll allow the reader to feel like they're right there with you experiencing that. Reporting versus portraying is not just for dialogue and when you're recalling conversations. It's also when you're bringing up supporting facts in your article, your blog, even, of course, your nonfiction book. A lot of times I will see when people want to demonstrate their credibility, they'll pull in some third-party research, some sources to cite, and then, like they're writing a book report, they'll summarize all of those facts, that research, copy, paste, right there it goes into the book. And it has a different sort of a feel from where you're telling a story or you're sharing your wisdom with the reader. It's like, okay, we're going to stop this book for a second with a sponsored message over here by this third-party source. You're reporting it. Instead, portray the information. Right in the midst of you telling your story, you can say something like, I later found out that, and then there's your statistic right there. We're talking about the research. You talk about when you first found out what that research was that supports your point. Talk about how it makes you feel even. Don't just report the facts, portray it. This way it becomes, again, a relationship between you and the reader and you're not a journalist or reporter there telling them all these facts. But in fact, you are portraying the information, you're portraying the argument. So go ahead and when you're working on your manuscript, Make sure that anytime you're telling a story, you're recalling a conversation, or even you're bringing up third-party information, you are portraying that versus reporting it. It'll create a distinct emotional connection between you and the reader, and that, of course, is what helps get you those numerous five-star reviews.